Hi, I'm Random Trashy, welcome to the channel. So as you guys know, my previous sidearm was a KWC MMP40. This was a CO2 non-blowback pistol. The bad thing about it is it didn't have an adjustable hop-up unit, so the BBs would just sort of sag in the air. There was no real way of giving them a strong backspin. It does help with accuracy, also helps with the amount of distance they're going to travel as well. And I did kind of find that when I was shooting out beyond maybe, say, uh, 5, 10 yards, you could really see that spread begin to open up. And with some of my friend's pistols, the ones that had the blowback systems with adjustable hops, they had much better accuracy out to much further ranges. Um, so I decided that it was time for an upgrade. I spoke to the guys over at Camo Raids. Now, I just want to put this in as a little bit of a precursor on the video. They do not give me any discount. I do not get any sponsorship from them. But their customer service is absolutely faultless. The guys over there know their products inside out. They predominantly deal with Tokyo Married products. Um, I speak to them on Facebook. Their response time is absolutely amazing. They're always willing to answer all of the questions that I ask, even if it is um, you know, asking about the backbones of the products, where they go wrong. They're always open to go into any sort of detail like that. And that kind of openness from them is so good. You just do not get that now that I've found with a lot of airsoft retailers. They don't really know that product all that well. And if they can upsell you, then they will. And with guys with camo raids have been bang honest. They were absolutely faultless when I went to get my 416D from them. Um, so I went back and I spoke to them about a variety of different products. I was looking at Glocks originally and then I got shown the HK45 TAC. Bearing in mind, I've always been a fan of the HK USP, and this being the updated model or the kind of more improved, enhanced version of that USP, I definitely had to jump at this. And this is the HK45 Tactical by Tokyo Mari. Absolutely beautifully boxed up, not a mark on the box, not a mark on the packaging, was sent out to me next day as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. As you can see here, we've got some information about the gun. We've got a picture right there with the gun with the suppressor on. Looks absolutely awesome. We've got the gun and the suppressor here. Um, we've got some information around the outside of the boxes. Um, we've got some stuff like the model number and all that sort of thing around there. I am just going to lift the lid off of this. Um, there is some information in the lid, uh, some safety uh, information. We've got some targets in there. We've also got a full brochure about taking this apart uh, and maintenance and all that sort of thing. So don't forget about those being in there. But I just want to get to the cool bit, and that is the the gun itself an absolutely beautiful looking product nice thing about the HK45 is it is a fully ambidextrous pistol and what I mean by that is that on both sides of the weapon is a safety so we've got a safety on the left hand side here and on the right just to let you guys know while I'm swinging this around in front of my face there is no magazine in this at all um, and the gun is actually in safe so um, just to let you know you know I am swinging it around just in case I do put my finger in the finger guard um, then or the trigger guard just be know that this gun is nice and safe. So we do have a safety on both left and right hand side, as well as this gun. Uh, a nice feature of this is the decocking feature. So I'm just going to flick it onto fire. As you can see there, I've put the safety down. We say that this is a cocked weapon, as if the slide has come back. And then if you do want to use the decocking feature, you just push that down to fire like so, and flick that back up, and then you can put that on safety, and then that is completely neutralised. So you know that even if you are going to pull the trigger like so, nothing is going to happen, and the hammer is actually decocked on the back. Really nice feature of this means that it can be put into a safety mode without firing off any rounds. Obviously, we've got the slide return both left and right hand side and then we also have the magazine release. It is in a little bit of an unusual position for me, uh, you know obviously the Glocks and my MMP40 it was around here as a little button. Here it is on the outside of the trigger guard uh, and that can be accessed on both sides as you can see that just moving down with my finger. The nice thing is that if you are drawing this out and you are going to be doing a change with your right hand and the pistols in your left hand you can actually use your thumb for this and then on the opposite side that if you are going to be using this in your right hand, just let me swap over, then I can use my right right hand finger once that is done just to push that in again I can use my right hand thumb so really nice and accessible means that the pistol can be swapped out in both hands uh, and if you are a left or right handed shooter this is something that's definitely going to help having those ambidextrous features got the rail on the front here so if they do want to add any accessories obviously the possibility for that I can you can also swap the sights out on the tops these are removable these sights if you want to put tricon ones in uh, or any of the day glow ones a really nice feature, we've got a nice stippled polymer lower and then with a metal slide. Nice thing about this, the way it's been stippled, obviously you see a lot of Glock users really overly stippling their uh, hand pieces. 
Does it make all that much difference? I think if you are out training with a weapon a hell of a lot and you are going to start wearing that away, yes. Uh, do you get a little bit more grip in the wet potentially? But I still think a stippled hand grip like this is going to work just as well. Nice thing about this pistol is the back piece from the pistol grip. You can actually remove it and you can change that to a shallower one. You can also get ones with slightly different bridges and stuff so you can fit smaller or larger hands. And I do actually have a much flatter bridge uh, in the back of here as well. So if I do want to swap that out, I can. Showing you around the rest of the box, we've got a uh, barrel cleaner here and a clearer, uh, and that's for you to be able to clear the barrel. Really nice TM metal suppressor as well, and that is lined with foam and rubber as well, and really does make a big difference to the sound, which I will show in a video a little bit later on when I do the shooting of this and the chrono. Really heavy duty, solid magazine. Nice thing about the TMs, obviously they have very reliable um, seals on these. You do find with a lot of cheaper magazines, the seals sort of go, and the way that they're constructed, you can always tell the machine's work is a little bit shoddy. The TMs, the seals work really nice. Uh, all the machine works really nice and flush. We've got a good seal on the top here, uh, and you can see just down the back, we've got a ammo count as if this is a real magazine. Obviously, allow, uh, down the front, we've just got the capability to slide that spring down, and you can put your BBs in. Last part of the box here is down in the bottom right hand corner uh, and that is the uh, protector for the barrel so that is on the threaded barrel on the end. We've got a little protector that can go on that to stop the thread from getting damaged and inside this box here are some TMBBs. Um, there's a little um, muzzle stop for the end so a little red plug that goes in the end just to know that your uh, gun is completely safe and won't fire and then there's also a mechanism in there for you to be able to adjust the hop through the side of the window. So a really nice setup here. What I'm going to do now is jump into the shooting footage, I'm going to chrono it on a different type, uh, two different types of gases and then I'll give this a full summary at the end. This is five shots with the suppressor off. So this is five shots with the suppressor on. And just as a quick test, I'm going to do five shots on red ultra gas. So guys, that is the HK45 TAC. I'm just going to do a couple of shots down at a target that I've made. I'm going to put it down at about 10 metres and just see how accurately it shoots. Um, I do believe with a pistol it's normally about the shooter more than it is about the pistol itself, but uh, we'll definitely give it a go. So guys, really impressed with the HK45, nice consistent FPS group, um, I do prefer it on the red gas, it might just be because it's really cold outside and I've been out there for quite a while just getting everything set up, but I do like it on the red gas, really nice sharp slide return, I think it's maybe something that I've missed having a non-blowback, but I do like that, it's really nice and sharp, feels very positive in the hand, having this suppressor on does really dull that noise down, hopefully that comes across on the camera, um, but it really takes away some of that metallic clank that you get from the slide, uh, and I guess the gas ejection from uh, pushing the BB out the barrel, this just comes across there's a lot less noise. Would I run it all the time with a suppressor on? Probably not. Um, if we were going to do some sort of sneaky night ops, or maybe we were sort of sneaking around in some buildings or something, definitely put that suppressor on. It's something that can go in a pocket. It's not a massive thing to carry. Again, just taking the suppressor off is nice and easy. Comes off exactly like the real steel version. Then we've got that threaded barrel on there. I have got a protector for that, but um, this will be going into a Kydex holster, so it's not like the base of the weapon is going to be revealed, so that should be coming soon. I'm just waiting for that to be made. Really, really happy with this. One thing I have noticed about this is the way that the magazine drops. Really nice and light. Um, compared to my KWC, the magazine changes on this, you know, with that little catch at the bottom just... It makes it so nice. It's something that I'm definitely going to be able to work on and make sure that I can get those draws and uh, reloads nice and quick. Really nice attention to detail on the gun, the way that it's numbered, the way that we've got all the real steel markings and everything down here, um, the way the sights are done, it's just finished to a really, really high degree. So absolutely sing the praises of this. Again, I think it just comes from that TM line. Um, they just their, their quality control, the way that they finish their weapons is just so, to such a high standard. I think no matter what product you get from TM, um, you're going to be happy with it. So really happy with this. Again, you saw from shooting the target, sorry that I couldn't do anything uh, more elaborate in that. That case I'm just expecting it to start raining I really wanted to get this filmed and get this review out to you 
Thank you so much to the guys at Camo Raids for all of the advice, all of the help choosing the products and for getting them out to me so quickly. I really appreciate all of the support that you've given me, answered all the questions and everything. So massive thumbs up for Camo Raids, massive thumbs up for the HK45. Questions, comments, feedback, you know, I'm really happy to have all of it. If there is anything that you want to bring up, make sure that you do it in the comments box below. Any feedback on the channel, anything like that, please, again, make sure it goes in the comments box below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will be getting some more footage of this, especially some training with this uh, up on the channel soon. Thank you very much for watching. Again, just very quickly, uh, if you do want to go and check out the Milsim series, that is now in absolute full swing. There's a good few episodes there in that playlist. So if you do want to check out some of the Milsim stuff, go back to the channel check out the Milsim series that is going to be the ultimate guide and that will be ongoing any questions you want to raise about that again in the comments box below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon